Hi. What's your name? My name is Joyce Grant. Hey Joyce, what brings you here today? Well, I'm here because I'm a uh, member of the Ocean Pres Oceanfront Preservation Coalition mm -hmm. and the, also the Citizens for Oceanfront Preservation. And I'm from Asbury Park and we're trying to save a little bit of uh, natural natural oceanfront. That's all kinds of things from development. And right. They're planning to develop there. And it's right up against the ocean. It has many environmental reasons why there should be no development there. It um, encroaches on green acres. It takes away public access. That, that's a big one because that's an area that a lot of people use and it will take away uh, the public access. So I've already spoken to him many times and sent him emails and I'm still saying the same thing, you know, can you help us and everything. I've written to the um, the regional um, administrator for our district from the EPA, uh -huh. been involved with the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, by the way. Green Acres doesn't want them to build there either. Yeah. So, I mean, we've got all this support. We don't have the support of the city council, uh -huh. the Asbury Park City Council. They still feel like, like if they develop there, they'll make money. They won't. They won't. I mean, it's in a flood zone. Give me a break. Yeah. So, that's what I'm there to see him about. Good. You know? So, you've been talking to him for years about that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And are, are you feel he's helping you? Well, I feel he listens, and then he, he his assistant comes up, or somebody gives me a card, and then I immediately send him all the information. Never heard Bart back, and that's my one complaint about him. He needs to respond to this to the citizens, you know, in, in some way, whether it's just an acknowledgement they've received, you know, the email. He doesn't he doesn't do that enough. That's my complaint. Got it. Do you think you'll be voting for him in November? I'm hoping. Oh, well, yes. I definitely believe in the man. I mean, he's done a tremendous amount for the New Jersey coast. No. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, you know, but he needs to, you know, there's still this group of people that will be, you know, right there, you know, for him. If he just pays attention. <laughs> a little. Okay, well, after 22 years, you might think maybe he get the hang of it. Yeah. Or maybe he doesn't think he needs to anymore. <laughs> That's almost like saying that he's arrogant, and I'm not sure that he is. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just. You know, but that's that's an arrogant posture yeah. when somebody says that. Well, you know, just, you know, I've been doing everything. You know, that that is. You know, yeah. and we need more humility. <laughs> what did you think of the um, the proposal to have the topless beach down there at Asbury Park? Oh, I, you know, I just felt it was silly. There are so many more things that we have to worry about. Really, I mean this. We are we're bankrupt. We owe 58 million. Billion, million, million, and we don't have the revenue coming in, and the state is not going to pull us out this time. Uh -huh. You know, and now they're talking top of speech. So I just, I, it's irrelevant. That's the way that I feel about it. I don't really care. You know, but it's irrelevant. Okay. Well, thanks for talking to us. Okay.